Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 10 full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In today's episode, we are going to learn about how to redirect the routes, right? And along with that, we'll also learn it's some of the options that I left it in the previous one, which is path match. So I'll cover both of that in today's episode. This is part 44 of the Angular 10 complete tutorial playlist. Please do check out the complete playlist. The links and the description and the previous videos, the notes are in the description box below. Uh, it will really help you to catch up and cover up on the previous topics that I've covered. These are all the topics that I've already covered in detail along with notes and explanations. So please make sure that you check it out if you want to learn and master Angular 10. Along with that, if you have any doubts on any of these um, tutorials that I've done so far, please do keep coming your feedback, comments in the comments section. I will try, I'm trying my best to catch up with you and help as much as I can. Alrighty, so what are redirecting routes? So let's say we want to redirect a certain uh, route to a new route, right? So we have an option which is called redirect to, right? When we're defining our routes, we have that option that we can use which is called redirect to. So the syntax is something like this. We have seen in the previous that we write path and we write component and then we can also provide redirect to. Right? So here we are telling if the path is found uh, single quotes that means if it's the root then redirect to home page. And you would also see something called path match. right? So the path match full means the exact right so whenever it is the root directory it has to match full there is also an option which uh, can take go with it which is prefix right so which means that if you find a prefix then where to redirect it right so it takes either full or prefix right so those are the two values that path match will take and double uh, single quotes um, without any value inside it will make it the default route or also known as the home page, right? The first root directory. That being said, uh, that's the notes. Um, and let's get into our application now. So you are in episode number 44. Today we are learning about routes redirection, right? So number one, uh, by default, the root level uh, route is single quote right so whenever you see single quote it's by default the root uh, the root level right um, we can use a parameter called redirect to right and specify which route it has to go right so the syntax would look something similar you will have path you're saying whenever user hits the root level path or default home path then he ha if you want to redirect to again there is no mandatory but if you want you can say you should go to home and path match should be full now full means it has to be exact right there are uh, variations of how you can use prefix um, i can't really think of a good use case today but um, i will think of um, some use cases and keep it ready when we start the live application to give you that also. All right. For now, let's learn this redirection, simple redirection. So go to your app routing, right? And here I'm going to say, create a new one and say path. Whenever it is default, then the component or we can, we should say redirect to the home, the say home. And we are saying path match full right so here i'm saying path match is full and i'm saying path is whenever it is the home page take the user to home that's the route okay so for that we need to configure the home right so let's do that also really quick and i hope we have a component named home no okay never mind so let's just say anything right i mean we are learning so Let's just say leads, right? So it doesn't matter which, um, so you don't have to give specifically what everybody does. You can do something which makes sense to your application as well. All right, so that 
being said let's add that so here I'm let's add a lead and I'm going to copy I don't want to type and here I'm saying leads and here I'm saying leads okay whatever leads create whatever right so now you see whenever we default to our route it will always take us to leads uh, route and there we are saying it has to be component which is leads grid component right so let's get started and see this in action now alrighty so here I am I'll delete all of this and hit enter so now you see it has defaultly taken me to the leads right so this is one of the type of redirection we can use and say that now see I'm deleting everything and I'm on root and I'm hitting enter it will bring me to leads because it is defined that whenever there is a single code that is at the root level it should redirect to leads that's what this code is doing it is bringing us to leads grid works right fairly simple uh, use case I don't want to spend too much time on it but remember whenever you have redirection rules that you want to apply this is how you configure it all right drop me uh, comments if you have any questions any use cases that you come across and you're finding it difficult I'll be more than happy to look into it thank you so much don't forget to like the video please do subscribe to my channel and if you would like if you really like my work please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials thank you so much again see you in the next episode where we will learn about query params